Hey guys, it's Doodle, and today I'm going to be showing you a walk around review of my Triumph Street Triple R. Before I get started, if you are in the Atlanta area, join me September 23rd for the next Ride Like a Pro course, learning tight U turn, tight turns, slow speed skills that moto police officers learn. I'll leave the link down below. Be sure to tell them Doodle sent you. After a couple more months riding it until it gets too cold to ride, I'll be doing a long-term review video on this bike. So be sure to come back in a few months if you're seeing this video fresh to see that review. I've also already made a first impressions review on this bike. I'll link to that below as well. Okay, so now I'll show you my bike. This is the 2014 Triumph Street Triple R. 675 cc technically 674.8 this model does have abs they started adding abs on these bikes in 2012 so i was really excited to be able to find a used 2014 version online from a private seller which fit my budget so this bike is 401 pounds wet which is 100 pounds lighter than my last bike the triumph bonneville t100 so that's been a really nice change, especially since I had it lowered an inch with a soupy lowering kit. That helped me just have better leverage and really control this bike really well. So that's been really nice. The reason I got the soupy lowering kit was because Kate's bike had that kit and I just fell in love with her bike so much. So I basically just tried to copy everything she had. I really wish though that I would have just gotten a lower seat because you can find seats that are over an inch thinner than this and uh, Voto Cycling talks about that. She did that on her Street Triple R. It's actually the same color scheme, the same year as mine. That's what I would have done differently had I uh, not gotten overly excited. I'll show you what the dash looks like and what it sounds like when I turn it on. So probably the most annoying thing for me is that um, to toggle between different settings here, this is called button A and button B in the manual, and uh, I can never remember how to get to what I want to get. I have to look at my manual every single time because sometimes it, you have to press button A first and then button B. Sometimes you have to press the other, a combination of it, and it's, it's very confusing. I mean, maybe it won't be so confusing for you. I went to art school, so things like that just, I just, I just, whatever. So now I'll show you what it sounds like when I turn it on. If this profile is looking a little odd to you, it's because there used to be a red side panel here that is so cute on the Street Triple R, but I had to get it removed in order to install this these crash guards. It's got two disc brakes in the front, like every bike should, so that's really nice. Braking is really great. I have had to emergency brake when I was coming on a curb pretty fast and there was a tree in the road, and I was okay. I fishtailed a little bit, but my bike didn't go over, so that was nice. Haven't done anything with the lights, except maybe broken them in a drop, but uh, I think maybe at one point I'll probably change them. I, I would like them to be flush, but I just haven't felt like it yet, so still got the stock lights, still got the stock levers. And if you want to learn more details about all the mods I have, I have a video where I just go over all my mods and I'll put that link in the description down below. So here's another visual thing, which a lot of people like a fender eliminator kit for this bike. And again, I'm just, the visual things for the Street Triple R just don't, isn't really something I'm thinking about right now. Um, so I'm leaving it as is. It is pretty ugly and not clean, but whatever. It still, it still rides like a dream, so I don't care. I'll open up the back of the seat so you can see what it looks like underneath. As I do that, I'm going to lock my wheel. Ugh. Okay, I guess I won't today. So in order to unlock it, right under the seat, 
Once you hear that click, it's open. So here you can see is the battery, the fuse box, which I haven't looked into learning about yet. Um, but it also comes with um, two Allen wrenches and this like L-shaped screwdriver. I'm going to be really embarrassed if this has a proper name and I just made up something. So there is room for a little bit of storage. It's about like as high as my hand is wide and you can see for scale how much you can fit in there. So you could probably fit your wallet or at least some like documents in like a Ziploc bag. So, so that's kind of nice. Another thing I like about this bike is how easy it is to check all your levels if you're good about maintenance, like I have only recently become. So your brake fluid in the front, that's pretty easy to see. And then if you come around on the other side, you can see your rear fluid pretty easily and check your oil levels pretty easily too. I also have a video where I do, do like the daily safety checkups on this bike. So if you want to see what that's like, I'll put the link in the description below. Well, that is my 2014 Triumph Street Triple R. There are definitely some more knowledgeable people than me to talk about the Triumph Street Triple R. I'll put a link to their channels down below. Voto Cycling has the same bike, same year, same color scheme. And she's really smart, cherry blossoms. And she works at a dealership, so she really knows bikes. And Kate, the famous Kate, who is the reason I got this bike in the first place when I test rode her bike, she is extremely knowledgeable and she is legit. Like, I ride on the weekends, some weekends. She commutes on her bike. So her information level is just, like, top notch. And she recently started putting videos up, so I'll link to her in the description as well. I'll let you know briefly so you're not shocked. Kate was in an accident recently. I'll talk a little more about that in another video. She's doing okay. She got another Triumph Street Triple R, but you can see how she's doing on her channel too. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps. Be sure to check back for my long-term ride review video on this bike in a couple months when I've had put more miles on it. If you're wondering where I got these specs and information from, it's all from the Triumph manual. And if I said something wrong, sometimes I do that. Sometimes, sometimes I say backwards stuff. If you want to support this channel, you can buy some of my shirt designs on Teespring or support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye.